this is it. Selected Cities starts Wednesday, July 20th at theaters everywhere. Okay, we are going to look at the devolution of movie posters. And we're going to use Die Hard as an example. So the original Die Hard poster, which came out in 1988 or 89 in the UK, didn't even have Bruce Willis on. It was just this picture. Then after the film opened and it was a great success, we get this poster. Bruce Willis's face, explosions, and so fantastic stuff. Gives you an idea of what's going on, even if it's not that clear a photo. Then we get the uh, re-release on Big Get Chess in the smaller box, but using the same picture. Fine and dandy. Then we get the DVD release that was in the Five Star Collection. Same poster. Happy days. And then even one of the other box sets uses the post on the, the Slimline DVD. Then the later release, we get this poster, which is a variation on one of the original theatrical posters, which looks like this. P.S. I had a t-shirt of both these posters back in too long ago. And that poster was also used on the other box set DVD that came out. So there you go, that's all right. But then we get to the Blu-ray and we get this poster. Now. It's dissimilar, there's explosions and helicopters and Bruce Willis looking concerned, which is the same as what we have here, almost. But it's just, for me, lacking. So I think the biggest thing is that it's set in daylight on this Blu-ray. I don't know if that's the brighten up or something, but then it's not reversible. So I know that some Blu-rays do come with re reversible covers, but this isn't one of them. And some of them might you know, even have slip covers. Uh, could be different as well but so this is what i mean by the devolution of posters is we've gone from that to that to me that's uh i would prefer the theatrical poster even though i've got it four times already but then most people don't keep the previous format and would only have this one and then some people might be a bit miffed that they don't have the original theatrical poster as an option which is a shame but here is the 4k poster if you want to have a look at that just in case I am curious, what do you think? Do you prefer the old theatrical posters on Blu-rays, or do you prefer it that they go with something different to keep it new? I know that steelbooks are a completely different thing as well, because they usually have some fancy art on, but when you come to a box-standard Blu-ray, you know, when they are in the rack, that would all be, that's all you'd see. Let me know if you think I've gone mad, but thanks for watching, here ends the lesson. Bruce Willis trapped in a building seized by terrorists. Welcome to the party, pal! Die Hard, the box office smash is now on video cassette.